Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Master of Time. Sorry for the break guys, I just got a promotion at work, it's been awesome, and I got this pretty girl whose name is Kura, which you might uh, recognize from uh, Breath of the Wild. Kura is Impa's sister who is the a scientist that turned herself into a seven-year-old girl or regressed her age rather there you go. She's a sweetheart. She's two months old And she's very clingy So she's actually wearing a, an old collar for one of our uh, other dogs Who because she is growing so fast, but she has a cute collar or a Tag somewhere here. See if I can find it. All right. Well, I can't find it, but um, still have it on in the future when uh, she gets her new collar. But I wanted to introduce her to you guys. So, without further ado, let's uh, continue with Master of Time, and she's gonna be chilling down here because can't leave my side without whining and I don't want to subject you guys to that. You okay? <laughs> He's just gonna chill there. Alright, so what were we doing? We were... Oh, you went down? There you go. We were... Oh yeah, we came out right there, right? I hear the wall master. Get me through here. What in the world? Bro, what the hell is this? Forgot how to play for a second. And it has been like a few weeks since I've played this. What? I think the sensitivity on my controller might be a little messed up. But that's okay. That's something we can fix later. One more glance at that guy in case he disappears when I do this. Bro. This is like that one puzzle. <sighs> Where I have to like break the box after I jump. I'm not down for that. It's looking that way though. Hmm. Yeah, that's not really anything I can do except try and make this. Okay. Dude, was that like a 50 50 chance I got the chest or does. The other one has a door or something. Upper boots, let's go. It means I can show you guys more. Uh... Sorry, that means I can show you guys more, like speedrunning tricks and steps. Is there anything in the other one? Or was it just like 
Hope you get lucky. Now we know. And we did get lucky. Which feels pretty good. Okay. Now what do we do with our newfound Luigi run? You wouldn't be so messed up if you had to like... <gasps> I forgot all about you and I can't hear because I'm talking. That's... Okay. What? Where am I supposed to go? Did I miss something? Oh. Wait a minute. That looks. I remember this is a ROM hack. Everything's gonna look. Uh... Not sure what the word I'm looking for. I I thought it was one of the the fake doors um, from Fire Temple Vanilla in Ocarina of Time. The ones that look like doors and then they fall on you. Granted, those are um, metal, but I'm pretty sure they also show up in the Forest Temple. And they are not metal. <laughs> um, what am I? What the heck? Wait, is this the thing I tried to jump on at one time? So dark, because I can't see anything. I have to do that thing where I like fix the gamma or whatever. Um, give me a second. Actually, not sure if I can do this while I'm recording, but we will. Oh. That'll do for now. At least I can see what I'm doing. Okay. See what I'm working with here. Wait a minute, dude. Oh man. I think in the future, whenever I um, get everything set up the way I want it, yeah, this is where I was. Um, I think I want to start making like ROM hacks like extreme exclusive at least like wall recording like I'll still put them on YouTube obviously but sometimes I feel like I could benefit from backseating just a little because I am 
I am Zelda God. I mean, let's n not forget essence. But sometimes, you know, you gotta get in your own little box and you need someone outside the box to look at you and look at the situation and say, Look, I know you can't tell because you're in a box, but you're blind. And you know, I'm I'm okay with that. Sometimes we all need that friend to just look at us and tell us that we're a blind piece of crap. And then give us the right answer. Bro, where even am I? Okay, so I'm going to assume now what happens when you assume? But I'm going to assume that the idea, I guess, is um, to not fall. And if you do fall, you have to walk all the way back around. Is that supposed to be like the gimmick or, or the challenge rather? I mean, I'm down. I can, I can, I can not fall if I want to. Especially if I, I don't explore and just go right in the, the first available door to me. So this is that one place that we went. Let's see, yeah, because I remember being able to go up here. So, this door was already possible. Dude, whoa. I'm not even mad. Yeah, cool. Let's try going this way. Um. Progress. Especially because pretty. Let's see. Whenever I ended off last episode we came out of that door and we were in the box and then got locked inside of the box and to get out we had to use Pharaoh's Wind from remembering right it's been so long I'm sorry guys like I said lots been going on it's not just you know I wanted to hang out with the boys or spend too much time with a girl instead of doing what I'm supposed to to do no like I sure I mean I do you know everything anyone else does but I always make sure that this gets done obviously unless uh, you know my actual job gets in the way which uh, happened to be the case so. but everything's good Things worked out, and now I am even more able to do this because I am making more money in my new position. So, wait, did we come from? That's not where we came from, I'm pretty sure. but. It did confirm my suspicions, especially with the two, not one, count them, two Mario Maker doors. Alright, I will be right back. I'm going to take her out and uh, I will return. Okay, so I did a thing. Um, all paused because I am 400 IQ but basically uh, I went back to this room and lit these torches that I just assumed were alright listen to me freaking stroking my ego and all I found was a recovery heart very entertaining. Yes. 
Okay, um... Went in this door already. I believe we went in this one. In this. That was so <laughs> lucky. So I have gathered that we're trying to um, Anyway, as I was saying, I have gathered that we're trying to like drop down because there are a lot of these like pits between the doors and stuff. And then there's a lot of locked doors that would make it easy to get in there. So I'm guessing, and that might have just been for this one thing, but I don't see, or I can't tell at least if it's pressed or not. So that's where that door leads out of. Maybe we do want to get up there. Not sure how we do. Um, I mean, sorry, I'm like going through my head, like thinking of all the like glitches that I could use to get up there, but like I do kind of want to. Like respect the guy's designs and stuff, because while um, while some of the places that he, the um, creator of this hack, who I'm speaking of, but while some pl places have been um, in use my words like jag or sketchy like jagged edges I don't know he does have pretty good level design and he is really stumping me <laughs> and uh, at least like n the solutions haven't been really like hard or something that like there's no way I would know you know it's it's stuff that at least like it's still it's a really hard puzzle <laughs> I'll give it that and it's never something that, that Nintendo would use because they do uh, you know try and make it pretty I feel like this I keep coming here because I feel like there's more to this than what it was <laughs> but anyways long story short I can appreciate coming at these uh, puzzles from a different angle I guess like using I can't explain what I'm trying to say accurately. If I run into another example, I'll just point it out. I'm sure you guys... Why do I keep walking? I Okay. I think <laughs> I've done that literally three times in a row. Okay. So, maybe we want to unlock this door. This one, actually, if we look up that's where that gap is that I almost went in. This is the door that leads to the box. So, knowing that, yeah, this would be way, way faster. Feel good back there, bro? Just got a bone. Okay. There's got Is there something I'm missing? Like. I 
And see, that's another thing, is that, like, I consider myself to be pretty, you know, experienced as a Zelda player. Having played... Oh my god, four, I was not paying attention. Oh jeez. That's gonna be fun to listen to. Um, I really do need to figure out where. It, what the heck, bro? You don't think I'm supposed to kill him? Let's see. That's the. I'm. Ooh. What can I do to get up here? the beeping guys here I'll just turn the turn the gameplay audio off for a second what I don't understand is why there are like areas outside of here I think look, um, Pura has hiccups. I think I can like launch off here fast enough with a a bomb. No, <laughs> because I will die. Don't forget that I am almost dead just because there is no annoying beeping going on. Just start over. Hurrah. <laughs> Their wagon. <laughs> I'll take it. Guys, if, um, actually, to be honest, whether or not I make it across this gap or not, See, like, okay. I'm starting to think that, like, this whole temple may have just been, um, for the hover boot. 
especially considering there is already like um Lozon Castle that we went to. Which we did complete. Correct? Yeah, we did. Okay. Well, then I guess that was it for the jail. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. If you think Per is a cutie pie, leave a like. Um, but in all serious guys, uh, thank you uh, so much for watching. It's good to be back. Um, again, sorry for the delay, and I hate doing that because I've been pretty consistent since I started. So, um, don't plan on that happening. But, anyways, um, I'm back, and it's good to be back. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.